by conservativestamp.com, Nancy Pelosi claims that Comey's revelations on Loretta Lynch is not a big deal. Seems as if Nancy Pelosi has joined the endless list of Democrats who seem to be totally happy with Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton committing clear and undeniable obstruction of justice, yet seem to be totally outraged by claims that Trump may have been uh, too forceful or irresponsible in his conversations with Comey. Nancy, who has repeatedly accused and expressed outrage over Trump's obstruction of justice, is now claiming to be totally fine with Loretta Lynch's obstruction of justice. She was asked by a reporter whether it was a big deal that Comey directed former Attorney General Loretta Lynch to use Hillary Clinton's campaign verbiage and refer to her criminal email investigation as a matter. Here was her response. I think that President Clinton was probably, President Clinton? She's sick. Was probably paying a courtesy visit to people are in the same place. You say hello. It was unfortunate because it was misrepresented as for what it was, matter investigation. I don't know that it's a such a big deal. Right? So call me... Uh, kowtowing to Loretta Lynch during an active investigation is no big deal, yet Trump not wanting to have a World War III with Russia means he's a Russian agent? Hey, Pelosi, combining Botox and booze isn't working for you. Democrats do everything two times better than Republicans. They not only believe in standards, they believe in double standards. In his highly anticipated testimony before the Senate Intelligence Committee on Thursday, Comey discussed the Bureau's investigation into Clinton's use of a private email server, noting that he thought it was odd of Lynch asking him to call it a matter. That gave me a queasy feeling, Comey said. Some conservatives are calling for an investigation after Comey directly tied Lynch's pressure back to Clinton's presidential campaign, saying he believes Lynch was pushing that line because of pressure from the campaign. Former FBI Director James Comey said under oath before Congress Thursday that Lynch had directed him to downplay Clinton's then ongoing private email server scandal by referring to it as a matter, not an investigation. Let's just take a quick listen. We'll skip forward. Yes, in, in a ultimately a conclusive way, that was the thing that kept it for me that I had to do something separately to protect the credibility of the investigation, which meant both the FBI and the Justice Department. Probably the only other consideration I guess I can talk about open setting is that at one point the Attorney General had directed me not to call it an investigation, but instead to call it a matter, which confused me and concerned me. As to whether that is a big deal, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi has reacted saying this. I think that uh, uh, President Clinton was probably paying a courtesy visit to people in the same place you say hello. It was unfortunate though because it was misinterpreted as for what it was. Matter investigation. I don't know that that's such a big deal. <laughs> well, that language, Simon, uh, the uh, former okay. FBI director said, the way he explained it, he said he was concerned by it because it seemed yeah. to track the language that the Clinton campaign was using. And he said whether it meant anything or not, he didn't want to risk the appearance of that. Yeah, he also said that it didn't work. I mean, as soon as he used it, everyone used the word investigation anyway. And I don't think this is really news. I mean, I think we know the essence of what he was discussing, which is that he felt uncomfortable with the Attorney General's involvement in the investigation because of her meeting, because of the matter, matter, and because of the meeting with President Clinton. And so he went on an independent route. He maintained the independence of his investigation. He was also trying to do that with Donald Trump, and it didn't work. He was fired. There's a huge difference between how the, the Obama administration handled this and how, the, and how the Trump administration handled this. So it is material that there was, that he was able to finish his investigation under President Obama, but not under President Trump.
Well, Katie, I'll give you a chance to <laughs> respond. Well, it's, it's news for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first is that it's news based on the, the, the situation we're in now because the left has been accusing President Trump of obstruction of justice without any kind of of evidence on the Russia investigation, but here we are yesterday with James Comey saying, look, Loretta Lynch directed me and told me to use the term matter, not investigation. And it does matter in the sense that the Hillary Clinton campaign repeatedly called the FBI's criminal investigation of Hillary Clinton a security review, which James Comey last year told Katherine Herridge he wasn't aware of what a security review is because the FBI does criminal investigations. And so it really does matter. It also matters because in the election last year, one of the issues that was severely overlooked when it comes to voters is that they were concerned about government corruption. And Loretta Lynch made James Comey's job harder when she met on the plane with Bill Clinton, and she made the American voters' decision a little bit easier when it came to Election Day based on this type of at least perceived collusion. Well, and we were hearing from a man yesterday who was fired publicly. Uh, and if you've ever been fired, and I was for my first TV job from a guy who told me I was terrible and would never make it. Oh, uh, no. So they, not true. <laughs> he, so not true. Him, I tried for two hours, and then I've been trying to prove him wrong ever since. Anyway. Uh, anywho, um, listen, the, Mr. Comey had some really strong language, Simon, yesterday. I mean, he basically called the president a liar multiple times and said one of the reasons that he decided to write these memos is because he thought the president would lie about their conversations. They were very strong words. They were, and I, and I think, look, just taking one step back from where we are, if, if this, it, you know, this investigation and the other two investigations were going to happen no matter what the White House did, and what Donald Trump has done in his mismanagement of this has drawn attention to himself. He's extended the, the life of the investigations themselves by delaying them. Uh, and he's also, you know, made, uh, created an enormous amount of attention on the investigations themselves. And so what would have been smart, I think, in retrospect, would have been for the White House to have worked to accelerate these investigations. If nothing is wrong, and he's done nothing wrong, right, they should have gotten it over quickly. They've done the exact opposite, and I think it's causing, it's been grossly mismanaged at a political level by the president, and I'm sure that he's upset at himself, frankly, for having made this far worse. Well, I don't think so. I don't think so. There, it's it's just a total witch hunt. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.